Welcome to WatchMojo.com. My name is Isabel Dominique and I'm a fitness professional and personal trainer. And today I'll be showing you three different exercises mothers and daughters can do together. Today the first exercise we'll be doing is a squat and the challenge with our squat today is going to be doing it with our partner. I'm going to have for a partner Evelyn. So let's get right into position. We're leaning back to back, we're leaning against each other and we're going to be moving our feet just a little forward. It's actually a, a challenge just figuring out how it's going to feel, right? So my arms are extended and I'm going to go down right now. I'm going down for two and I'm going up. So it feels right. Right now it's going really well. Evelyn and I are perfectly synchronized, but in, it might happen that we lose a bit of balance and then the core is going to kick in. So there's a weight transfer that you have to figure out and you'll see your core is going to be nice and challenged because you might be losing your balance once in a while, depending on how you're placed and depending also how your partner's placed. So we're going to keep on going down. And what we're really working is, <laughs> is the quads because it is a regular squat, but it feels completely different because you're doing it with your partner. Keep in mind that if you don't have a partner, the squat's always a great exercise to do on your own. So our second exercise is going to be focused on the arms, more specifically the back of the arm, which is an area that us women really want to work out and want to make firm. So here's the positioning. I'm going to be putting my hands on Evelyn here versus on her knees, which I could be doing if she wasn't so ticklish and I'm going down and I go up. So I'm feeling it really in the tricep area, going down and going up. So I'm gonna go down, my elbows stay towards the back and I go up. So I need to keep a nice straight back down and up. I'll take a break because I, I want Evelyn to be doing something. So I'm gonna get her to shift her hips up and then back down. And then you'll notice she's working the glutes and the back of the leg. And now the fun part begins right here where we're doing it both at the same time. As I'm going down, she's going up. We're both focusing on our exercise, but also making sure that we're breathing. Exhale, going down. If you're doing the tricep exercise, again, exhale and inhale. So to make sure that you actually get in both sets of exercises, make sure to switch with your partner so you get to work triceps and back of the leg and glutes. So the third exercise today is going to be the plank position, working abs and arms. And the bonus part of the exercise is your partner's weight. So going right into position, I'm going to put my hands down and I'm on my knees. And Evelyn is going to come in and place her legs on my back. So you have to figure out where it feels most comfortable for you to go place your legs. And then if I wanted to make it just a little harder on myself, I can go extend my legs. So I'm right here extending both my legs, which makes my position much harder because I'm dealing with Evelyn's weight and my own body weight. So keep that position as long as you need to to feel fatigue in your muscles. A safe way to get out of this position is just to go back onto your knees and release. So you can do the plank position without a partner, but for me this is a great exercise to do with mother and daughter because of the different levels of difficulty. So these exercises can be done with any partner, not just mother or daughter, and you want to make sure that you're keeping that fun element in your training. 